I'm Mike Anderson, and I'm after your vote for Commissioner of Late Night. I'm a late night talk show host and a seasoned public speaker. I've been an Eagle Scout. Their badge and personal fitness. I'm a doctor, a pianist, and a reverend. He's married five cousins. <laughs> I've been a professor at KU for seven years, and I've only had two sex scandals. All expunged from public record. So vote for me next time you're sitting in your lazy boy on Wednesday nights. Because, let's be real, what has two and a half men ever done for Douglas County? What's happened nothing? I'm Mike Anderson, and I want to talk you in every Wednesday night at 10.30. See, what I love about Halloween is why can't guys dress up in Catwoman costumes? Did you hear the one about Mike Anderson? No. Oh! <laughs> Now, you guys think it's good now, but this bed was really made for three people. Pay attention to what happens when I jump on now. And actually, when I jump on, you feel completely different, don't you? So, I sure do. it feels, do you feel the difference? This is how they sleep in Europe. Oh, this, really? this is a bed from, it's called the Euroship. It's the 2012 model. Put me down for a couple Scandinavian women. Yes, that's exactly how it goes. When you think of like Compton, you think of patriotism, you think of territorial days, you think of that. Go like this, maybe it looks like the eagle's flapping its wings, I don't know. We were both in the dumpster, looking for a discarded treasure, and found each other. You are tall and pretty, but I was distracted by the tall and pretty part, and I forgot to get your number. Did you find any good music while diving? Waxing times make it waxman times. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like the sweetest kind of garbage I've ever smelled. So I believe in the American dream. I believe in unity. I believe in justice. And I don't want to think we should be in a town where little kids grow up to a life of crime. Instead, why not give them a parade? You would have made a hell of a talk show host yourself, Hans. What was it that you said to me before? Yippee Kaye, mother 120 and you're done! You're going to be the only guy that ever falls off a stationary bike. Well, <laughs> if you're good at something. Come on, man. Either puke or golf. And then you break you down. <laughs> This is perfect. This is, I want to put this on my eHarmony audition tape. <laughs> You've reached the age where life needs some restrictions. You've reached the age where riding hard doesn't necessarily mean staying hard. You've reached the age where thinking about baseball just doesn't help. So why would you let erectile hyperfunction get in your way? When your erection won't take direction, isn't it time you talk to your doctor about Flacidex? Flacidex is America's number one prescription drug used to treat erectile hyperfunction. I want you to change your pick to Lincoln as the best movie of the year. But Argo's an entertaining political thriller with heart. Political thriller without that. Do you not see Lincoln? It's all heart, all heart. For two and a half hours. <laughs> Say it, John Nickham. Lincoln. Lincoln. I liked it just fine. Uh, in Argo, how many people did Ben Affleck save? Six. Six, yes, oh, six, that's a good number. Oh, yeah, I did that before Great Britain this morning. How many people did Abe Lincoln save? This is how Geraldo must have felt right before he opened that tomb. Good evening and welcome 
to the fourth annual Caddy Stacks Mini Golf Tournament here at Lawrence Public Library. The only person who can win is that person who can really channel their inner Tiger Woods and go home with the coveted Perkins waitress. I'm here stationed <laughs> at hole 14, one of the Lawrence Masters, and I'm ready for putt-putt action. Dylan set out to reinvent himself with a series of bold career moves. After music, the next logical step appeared to be acting. That means why can't I do some acting, you know? And getting in front of a screen is no different than playing in front of a live audience, really. It's just different medium. Dylan set his sights on Hollywood, starting with a screen test in 1972 for Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather. I mean, I'm not coming off like Colonel Phil's. What'd you think about that one, man? I thought it was pretty good. It reminded me of a rainbow. Never ends, man, just keeps going. Dylan was heartbroken when the role went to veteran method actor Marlon Brando. Mike Anderson here for the Rekindle, a revolutionary new way to put the passion back into your sex palace. The Rekindle is a state-of-the-art, super lightweight projection system that will allow you to read or watch anything you want while making whoopee. With the Rekindle, you can watch all your favorite films. Don't, don't go in there! What? Stop! Rekindle also, not just for her, it works for guys too. This could be the record go, breaker right go, here. Go, go, go! Let's go! Yes! <laughs> the Rekindle. I think I found my Halloween costume. The law says you cannot touch, but I see a lot of law breakers and lawyers. When I go up, I won't be just like Mike Anderson, water baller. You know, I would definitely consider myself an artist. Do I have a canvas I paint on, absolutely, it's called the basketball court. And I just paint, and I paint, and I paint. And one time I painted 139 points. And that is a masterpiece that no one will be able to copy. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people have been coming up to me lately and have been like, oh, Mike, you're probably the greatest basketball player to ever live. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, how does anyone really know that? <laughs> Um, until they look at the stat sheets and see that I score 139 points in a game. <laughs>